Hello, hello everyone, and welcome again to another LEGO Barnacle video. For today, guys, we're going to be doing a version 2 remodification rebuild on Lava Beast. So as you all know, Scout's original Umarek rebuilds. Now, if you have seen my Umarek the Destroyer remodification rebuild, I created a gear function. Now that gear function, the instructions were all from Scout. Now what's interesting is that the rebuild was also for Lava Beast and Umarek the Hunter. So what you saw in my previous video was practically the easy way to add a gearbox onto Lava Beast. Now what we're going to be doing is to make things more interesting, we're going to be adding a unity function. So kind of thinking in the way that the beast could actually uh, unite with the creatures. Uh, of course as we all know Lava Beast would kind of you know go hand in hand with the Kier, the creature fire since lava and fire kind of go together so we're gonna do that I'm gonna show you how to implement a unity function so then your beasts can unite with the creatures so there's literally just only a few things that we need to change first off we're gonna be pulling this out uh, so then we can add in the gear because we're gonna be adding a different gear we're not gonna be adding the gear just like this one here in the back you're gonna have to get a smaller gear and it's this one right here now I'm sure you'll be able to find this as any Technic sets um, I'm not sure on obviously which sets you can find this in, but I'm sure you can find it. You're going to be needing that and a smaller thin bushing. So not the thick one, you're going to use the thin one instead. So first off, let's pull this off and from there I'll explain further. So all you're going to do now is guys, we're going to add in that tan small gear function as you see here. So we're going to stick it in just there for now because we can't put in the whole uh, piece in. We can't put this in with it. So we have to first slot it in that small little hole there so they can fit there just like that. So I know it's kind of sticking out but it's going to be connected in anyway. Here next we're going to attach on this piece again. So same thing as our previous video except we're using a smaller bushing so the smaller size bushing and same thing applies we're just going to connect it in the same way so push it in through there and push it in through here and it's not going in come on there we go just like that and that's something well that's how you should kind of get it so there you go just to show you a better image just like that so very similar guys not to complicate you all it's pretty uh, straightforward there. I'm sure you guys know how to do this. Just to show you that the gear function does work. So there you can see it works very nicely. Very smooth of course. Similar principle applies. It's just the only difference is that tan gear function guys. We just removed the black one here. So just like this one here we removed it. That was it. That's the only difference. Now uh, moving on to the next step. We're going to be pulling this off. And adding in this circular pin here. Just underneath this axle piece right here so stick that in there we go just like that and then what we want to do is we're going to add in this piece right here uh, it's an interesting piece to be honest but um yeah you're going to add that piece in so with this piece here you're going to connect it to the two bottom holes so that these two axle pieces can be attached onto these two hole or the two axle pieces there as you can see so what we're going to do we're going to do it now quickly add it in and it should all connect in just like that and that's practically the gear function like it's still there the gear function is still there but now we have a unity function now I'm going to do is I'm just going to reattach all the pieces on and bring in a key. Just one more thing to mention just for the back now I know originally the armor shell should sit like this now I know if you really want to you can leave it like that or you can just face it upwards um, it's really really up to you so kind of like that uh, if you want to just to kind of cover that top bit there just like that it's really really up to you in the end but anyway I'm gonna now bring in Ikir and so practically there you have it guys that is Ikir the creature of fire connected and united with lava beast now of course at the end of the day Akira's head isn't necessarily going to fit onto Lava Beast's head, but then again, to be honest, it wouldn't really make sense for them to really connect in properly since they don't originally, or they're not meant to originally connect with the Beast or with Umarek the Hunter. So for that reason, we're just going to leave his head sticking out like that. And um, of course, you can see the back here. Uh, pretty cool, I have to say. You can see the wings just, you know... They're just wide open. They look so cool there. And then, of course, you can see that uh, the back is still on attached. And so you can still get that nice mechanism there if you really want to. So that flying mechanism. Swoosh, swoosh. So now we can say that Lava Beast can practically fly. 
Now, the only thing that you do need to remove in order to unite Akir with Lava Beast is just to remove the Shadow Trap in the back of Lava Beast. Because if you don't, then there's no way you're going to be able to connect the pieces on. But uh, that's just to all let you know. And I think that is pretty much it. And there you have it, guys. Wow, check that out. Out. I have to say, Lava Beast is looking really awesome there with a here in the back. So I guess just to show you a quick 360 of the set. So there you can see it guys. I think it looks great. I know of course the color scheme maybe just, you know, kind of is a bit off since Akira is quite light. He has the, the light orange with the gray going on while uh, Lava Beast has the black and the red kind of mixture or orange mixture going on. But still, I think he looks great. Uh, let me know guys what you all think in the comments below. Of course, uh, at the end of the day, your comments are very important. But uh, I think this is a great build, of course. Like I said, guys, we need to thank Scout. He's the one who created this build. He's the genius, to be honest, in building this. And uh, we just have to give him a big shout out. And of course, thank him uh, for this awesome build. I'm definitely going to be keeping it like this because he looks so cool. And with that said, guys, that is my video completed on the version 2 remodification rebuild on Lava Beast. I really all hope you have enjoyed this. As mentioned, we need to thank Scout for providing us with the instructions. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be able to even think or even kind of provide a theory that the beast could, uh, you know, of course, somehow unite with the creatures. But I think it's a great idea. Uh, somehow we're going to have to figure out a way to implement it for Storm Beast and Quake Beast, but that's for later on. Anyway guys, if you have enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos to come. And of course, smash that thumbs up button if you have enjoyed watching this video. Anyway guys, thank you again so much for watching. Have a great day. I will be talking to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.